It's an absolute pleasure to meet both of you. This movie is fantastic. Um, my question is, uh, first, is when you got the roles, was there a moment when you got that weight on your shoulders, you're like, this is gonna be like a massive movie, like next level? I don't think I've quite realized that <laughs> until now, until <laughs> doing this press, because I've never experienced anything like sure. um, how fascinated people are in 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 the film that I've I've been in and so it's amazing to be a part of of this kind of enormous <laughs> thing um, but I think at the time of course there was a huge amount of pressure because of, of how much we all felt the original movie was so perfect and yeah. how can you kind of yeah. better perfection but we were very much protected from from the kind of negative uh, fearful feelings by Rob Marshall, yeah. our director, because he just, he had so much courage and so much enthusiasm and so little cynicism about the whole endeavor. Mm. And he was so intelligent about it all at all times that you just sort of felt safe and, and, and just happy to be there. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I was fearful <laughs> because I didn't want to, I really didn't want to be in something that was a blot on the history of this <laughs> wonderful thing that people have adored for decades. But yeah, very quickly, once we read the script and once we heard the songs and once we met the cast, it sort of started to feel okay and yeah. like we were going to be okay. <laughs> Especially yeah. for a film like this, uh, the costumes are fantastic, the props are out of control, it just, everything's so f just fascinating with it. If you could take one of those props, off that set and put it in your own personal collection, what would you take? I do have a fondness for the new carpet bag, which I think is an improvement on the original yes. carpet bag. <laughs> it's it's a very good design. I don't know who designed that bag. I think Sandy Powell must have designed it. I think it she must have To done. have gone matched Emily's thing outfit. wardrobe, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it has the look of a Sandy. It looks like something Sandy would, would carry, wear. which yeah. is um, always amazing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So you got the carpet bag, what are you taking back home? I, I think I'll take, if he's got the carpet bag, I'll take the parrot, the, the, the parrot umbrella. <laughs> Perfect. <Yeah. laughs> and then my last question is, uh, did you guys actually go back, I mean, we've probably all seen Mary Poppins before, but did you go back and even like, look at the performances of the children and kind of learn about mannerisms of, of what they did or just kind of just went on your own? Yeah, I think that the, the, there was a temptation to go back and look at the mannerisms of the kids in the first movie and then very quickly I decided that that was sort of, a high thing to nothing and it was just going to scare me and because how could you possibly sort of copy the mannerisms of a child and imagine how those mannerisms would have changed into adulthood sure. um, it was just too much um, gotcha. but but I think I felt very intrigued by what it would be like to be the grown-up child of the parents from yeah. the original movie because they are such extraordinary characters sure. and they're so funny and odd and um, uh, eccentric and so I think that that was where I got my inspiration from was just imagining uh, imagining being their kid. Gotcha. Hmm. Did you go back and look at anything? Yeah I watched it again I watched it for the first time in I don't know 20 odd years 30 odd years 30 odd years so it was amazing to see uh, and I agree with with them it was most useful in a way to watch what David Tomlinson was doing. Yeah. Mm. Um, and what Glynis Johns did, and um, to, yeah, to think about uh, how Michael might have become his father. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. The film is perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. You guys have a great day. Thank you. you. Too.